The mindset basically is what you want to cultivate. Okay? The mindset to prevail, the mindset to win, the mindset to, buy the, to bite the guy's face off if you have to. If your house is getting broken into at 3 o'clock in the morning and you're, while you're sleeping with your wife, you've got your kids in your bed and, and you hear, uh, you hear your, your windows smashing in your house and uh, you get down really quick and you've got like, two or three guys with blades with the firm intention to cause deadly harm and go and rape your woman and kidnap your kids. I know it's, it's vile, yeah? But this, shit, this sort happen. of shit still happens. It's happen. Yeah, it does happen to everyone. I hope it never happens to you, but it does happen. And Combative was designed to deal with this sort of situation. Now, you, you need to have the mindset to pick a kitchen knife from your kitchen and stab them to fall. You need to have that type of mentality. I'm not saying that obviously there's going to be legal issues after, you're going to have to go to court and all this, but still let, let's say okay. you're still alive and your family is alive. That's the most important. Yeah. Yeah, it's to stay alive. Remember one thing, yes, you should be a lawful citizen, yes, you should admit by the law, but when you have this type of, same type of situation I told you, you're at home and three guys with blades break into, into your house, will you, will you always have the time to call the police? No, maybe not. If, when you call the police, how long is it going to take you to say, uh, hello, my name is Vlad, that's my address, and I'm being attacked, and this and that. How long, with, the, with the adrenaline stress and everything, how long is it going to take you to tell all, all these details to the police? You're and then how long, oh, yeah, and how long are they going to take to arrive? And when they arrive, will they always be able to help? If you've got fucking five holes here and one here, are they going to be able to help you? The question I is, you shared it? that article about that uh, retired army major was in Germany. Did you see that one? I'm Where he had a home invasion, like four guys. Oh, home invasion, yeah. Yeah, and he managed to block the door, one of them got in. Yeah. But he was on top of his wife, strangling his wife, and he ended up stabbing him to death. Yeah. And kept out the other three, but reading through that account of what happened, it is terrifying. But look, you know, I, I've got a lot you of can people... Can't get to grips with what you'd have to do in that situation, mm. don't you? I've got a lot of people telling me, uh, Jules, the stuff that you show is too violent, you're going to get, get jailed, you're going to, you know... And I'm saying to them, Wait a second, you go and train martial arts and when you train to punch, are you thinking, oh God, I shouldn't punch him too hard because I don't want to get in jail. When you train the knife and you train the, you go to kendo and learn to use the sword. They give you the kit again and the skills and the tactics, yeah? you, you learn to use the sword. Are you telling yourself, oh, I'm just going to spit here, I'm just going to cut his hand halfway, just, you know, so. Come on, man, do you know, like you train something, you've got you, you to train for the worst case scenario, you've got to train to give your all, yeah? So the mindset is very, very important. You need to know what you're ready to fight for. You need to be ready to, you need to know and ask yourself what you're ready to kill for. I'm, hey, I'm one of the nicest person you'll ever meet. I'm quite spiritual, I like meditation, I, I'm quite a zen type of person, yeah? But if somebody fucks with my family, I'm not going to hesitate. Do you know what I mean? If I have to, if I have no other choice, I'm not going to hesitate, not a second. Do you know what I'm saying?